You ain't said a thing since you got in the car. Yeah, I have. Not a word. Sorry. Thank you for taking me. And thank you for waiting for me. I was happy to wait for you. Thank you. Time for coffee. You know, I used to lie in bed at night thinking about her. And I used to imagine that she'd tiptoe into my room. As she bent down and she kissed my cheek and she whispered into my ear that she was sorry. That it was all a big mistake, and that now that she was home, she was never going to leave me ever again. And I'd sit up, and I'd hold my arms out, and she'd hug me. She'd hold me so tight. And she'd tell me that everything was going to be all right now. What a waste of time that was. When she said she was pregnant, I thought, OK, yeah, all right, maybe that makes some sense why, you know, why she abandoned me. But then why didn't she have a picture of him? Yeah. We could find him. Do you think he exists then, dear? Don't you? <laughs> no! Daniel? Danielle? That's a bit of a coincidence, don't you think? No. No, the only reason my mum left is because when I needed her, when I really needed her, she didn't love me enough to stay. I haven't got a brother. I didn't hear you come in. 